Hello everyone. Now this is my Sega Rosewood hard drive. Firmware repair and data recovery case study for one DFO user in Malaysia. Now let's check what's the problem for this pension drive. Now we can see that the front part of the data array is accessible. Now let's check ending part. Maybe we can check the middle part of the data arrow and find out if it's accessible or not. It's also accessible. Now let's check the ending part. Three nine zero zero zero. Click OK. Now we can see it's not accessible. So this drive has partial sector access problem. Now let's try to fix the problem. Uh, we need to uh, write SOS files. Firstly, we can check the angelist list entries. It's zero. Now let's check if this error has the backup or not. We can try to write as well as files. Continue. 35, this is the original uh, backup of the angel list. Let's try to write back by ATM mode. Okay, write down and we check again V40. Now we can see it has five entries returned and we need to regenerate the translator. Now let's wait until the translator regeneration completes. So this is a remote spot case study by Team Viewer. We can see this is Team Viewer. So many new users use the Team Viewer to apply for the remote spot, and Dolphin engineers will help them to fix their cases. And after the cases are finished, and users can get SNOS data back directly. Now we can see the translator is running, the, the translator regeneration is running and we can wait for until uh, it completes. After this firmware repair is done, we can go to the DFL DDP data recovery equipment and check all the data. So this is the client PC, the client computer. I just control the computer by team viewer and help the user to fix their cases. We can see the model number. This is very new Seagate hard drive. The family is new. And its firmware version is also new. The DFS Seagate HD firmware repair tool supports these drives perfectly to unlock the firmware error and recover the lost data. It's going to be completed soon. Okay. 
after we see the F3T prompt, that means the last command executed in this comp terminal has been completed. Now we can check the default zero again. We can see that the entries are five entries. Still the original entry number. So this means the partial sector access issue has been fixed. We can check the ending part. And we can see if it's accessible. See? So all the data error is accessible now. This means the partial sector access issue has been perfect and fixed. Now we can go to the DFL DDP. This is a control panel, okay? Currently, we have opened the Seagate from repair software. Now, we need to open the DFL DDP data recovery module. So we just click here. So this means we can open two modules on the same channel at the same time. So this is a firmware repair window and this is a data recovery window. Now we can try to set up one new project. File extraction, click finish. Now we can see this is a master partition Users can double click. So all the lost folders and files are listed here. Okay. So users can select can select the folders and files to recover. So it, it's very easy now. And the user can get all the lost data back easily. Thank you for watching the video.